Hello, I'm Toro, and um, I have a little Target haul today. Some stuff that I bought at the Target, like in the maybe like a couple, no, actually like a few trips to Target. Got a bunch of these flying customs, like this um, '68 Shelby GT500. It's really nice. It's got the '68 on the side. The Castro. Goodyear, it's just all white. Just like some side details. But uh, these are pretty cool. Um, I was thinking it was kind of like the one, the one from the a past flying custom set. But uh, no, it's actually way different. But the colors are kind of similar. The red and blue. This one says 68 on the side. And this one's a 67 custom Mustang. So yeah, it's got some differences. Thought they were similar. But now this is pretty cool. Found one of these Mustangs. I'll try to get one for my Mustang collection though. And then I got another one of these 70 Plymouth Barracudas. I had already bought one of these. And uh past um in a past video i guess i already found one but uh it's pretty cool these are pretty cool this is a pretty cool cast and i really like this color this um green very like lime green bright color that it has and i also got the 71 plymouth gtx it's really nice. Looks all muscle. And I actually did have this one also. I found it before. But I wasn't sure which ones I had. So I have bought this one just in case. I didn't have it. And this is the full set of the that flying custom set. And I actually I have all of them except for the the 84 Pontiac Firebird. That's the only one that I'm missing. I got the other two. I mean, I got, I got the other Mustang, the Mach 1. Custom Auto. I got the Shelby GT500. These two Chevys. I mean, the Shelby GT500. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be missing that Firebird. I've been looking for that one. I really like these um, flying customs. This one I really did like. I've been looking for this one, the 55 Chevy. I only found one though. I'm gonna have to look for another one. Check out the roof on that one. That one looks really nice. It's got a kind of like a light yellow, almost like a gold yellow interior. It's all like pink it's like a dark pink with like some light pink and a little bit of silver too looks really cool some gold rims it's got the chrome base i like these images that they have these are the ones that i really like keeping in package but um yeah i think most of them i have like twice so I'm gonna try to look for another one of these. Put it in my Chevy collection. And I got two of the 64 Chevy Nova wagon. This is a really nice color. It's like a really bright blue. You can see that. Really bright blue color. The red interior. And it's got like some design on the side. A little bit of red and gold. Actually, it's yellow. But it pops really good. It also has a chrome base. It's a plastic base. So. But uh, it's a really nice car. I'm a big fan of that Nova wagon. 
So I got those flag customs on, and I'm only gonna need the the Firebird, Pontiac Firebird, 84 Pontiac Firebird. I don't think I've seen that one there, so I'll check next time I go. At least I know which one I I need now. And I found some a couple of the basic line. I got the Draftinator. What is that? Draftinator. This one looks really cool. I really like this color. It's all translucent blue. And some pink lines. It's number two. This is actually the second um, color wave to this one. This is a new model for 2021, but um, the first one was all orange. I didn't pick that one up because um, it just seemed like really like fantasy, fantasy car. It's from the X Racers. And um, when I saw this one, I was like, whoa, this one's really nice. It's all plastic, translucent plastic. You can pretty much see like the whole engine and well, I guess how it is from inside. Looks really cool. Yeah, it looks really nice. Especially the color though. It's like a really dark blue. Pink, a little bit of light blue too. Yeah, I really like this truck. And then I got the Dodge Challenger drift car. This is from the Hot Wheels race team. This is Hot Wheels on the side with Dodge. Number nine. It's the Dodge Challenger with the big wing. It's supposed to be like a drift car and i think all these um hot wheels race team cars have like that um kind of satin like matte blue blue color and this is hot wheels on the side so it looks really cool though especially this cast the dodge challenger they don't really have a lot of uh, hot wheels though like from the basic line i found some of the flying customs and then i found a full set of this fast and the furious cars from the fast superstars but i only got this one this one's the number 105 it's the nissan skyline gtr it's bnr 34. this is a really like popular cast though Especially the color and everything, so I don't think it really much changes from like other blue skylines, but um this package is really nice. I really did like this image right here. Looks like he's like drifting with the R34 skyline. The color's really nice. The rims are really cool too. I'm not sure if these are the same rims as the other one though. Those are cool. The details with the tail lights, headlights, the GTR badges. Yeah, this one's really cool. And these are the other four. They did have all of them. This one time I went to the, I think it was the Walmart, and I had found the 70 Dodge Charger, 70 Chevelle Super Sport, and the 70 Chevy Nova Super Sport. But, um, Remember, I think I just ended up leaving them for something else. But they didn't have these two. And at Target, I did find both of them. But the Toyota GR Supra, I thought it was going to look a little bit better. And like, I don't know, like the paint looked kind of weird. I should have taken a picture of it. But um, this one's really cool. Though. Just a blue, all blue details it's a really cool car it's like my dream car right there and i also found a couple of uh johnny lightnings these are a little bit more expensive but um just like the one these two are like really cool this 
one is the the Ford. This is a 1960 Ford Country Squire, but it's the Rat Fink Custom. And it comes with like a little tin box you can put it in. But I really like the packaging with the Ford logo and it's like all the little information right here. This is limited edition to 6020. It says Ed Big Daddy Roth created the Rat Fink character. It first appeared in a 63 issue of Carcraft magazine. And this is a Rat Fink custom green. So yeah, I really need this um, package so I can keep all this info. I mean, I was thinking about just taking it out and put it in the little tin, but I like how it has all this information. This is a really cool wagon though. It's got the rat on the roof. You can really see that. It's got like a design all across the roof and the hood. It's that red fink. That looks really nice, the design. And the color is really cool too. And uh, this is the dark green from the top. This is like a lime green on the bottom. And I found another one that had the, like the opposite. It was the lime green on top and the darker green on the bottom. But I think I like this one more than the other one. Plus that one had like some paint chips on the side. So I had like some imperfections that I just preferred this one. But yeah, this looks pretty cool car. It's the little custom wagon. Custom Ford. It says Ford right there on the the trunk on the back it's like a family wagon that was customized with that red fink this is pretty cool this is from release one 1960 and they got some other with some other Johnny Lightning products but um from these collect all three, they have the well they had two colors of the Ford Country Squire, just like opposite colors. And I guess they also have a 1957 Studebaker Golden Hawk and a 2010 Dodge Challenger RT. So I wonder how those look. I wonder, I wonder if they're like from like the same red fink. I'm not sure about that. I didn't see those there, so just this one. And the other color of this one too. And the last thing that I got was another Johnny Lightning. So I actually found that in another Target, not my the one I always go to. But it's from the 85th anniversary of Monopoly. This is all die cast metal body and chassis. With rubber tires. And it's commemorating the 85 years of fun family gaming. It's for the pop culture Monopoly. And it comes with a little game token. Like a metal piece. It's like a van too. That looks really cool. I thought that was really, really cool to have. And yeah, this is something to keep in the package as well. Because I really like the design and like... The anniversary and everything so let's keep these two together but the van looks really cool property management it's got the whole board game on the side it's got the monopoly man on the roof and it says monopoly on the hood it's kind of like a i guess kind of like a very light green color like metallic green see the monopoly man on the back just thought it was really cool the whole monopoly monopoly game and it's got some fun facts right here on the side 
The entire board of Monopoly is based on locations found in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And the Monopoly brand's official birthday is March 19, 1935, when Parker Brothers acquired the rights from Charles Darrow. It's pretty cool little information on the side. It's the back. I guess from the Monopoly. Oh yeah, I did find another um, Monopoly one. It was a Chevy Camaro C28. They also had that one there, but I didn't see the Lincoln Premier. And the Chevy Camaro is like a blue one with um. I guess I had like some designs from the Monopoly too, but I like this one way more, especially with the free, with the little game token. Exclusive. It's a really heavy, heavy package. That's pretty much all I got from, um, I think, a couple of different targets. Maybe like three trips to Target. Got the Monopoly Johnny Lightning. The Rat Fink Johnny Lightning. The Nissan Skyline from the Fast Superstars. I think uh, another one that I would really want to get is the Chevy Nova. It's really cool. Couple of the basic line. And a bunch of these flying customs. So I'm only going to need that Firebird. That's pretty much it. Just a little Target haul. From a few trips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.